Since we started this hour long show earlier this year, we've used this part of the Sunday show to take a look back at the week that was in high school football. But with that season now over, we dive into Bakersfield's biggest sport, that being CSUB men's basketball. A week ago, the team coming off one of their most embarrassing losses in the past three years, a 60 to 52 loss to previously unbeaten Northern Arizona. Now this week, excuse me, that was previously winless Northern Arizona. This week, head coach Ron Barnes said, while the loss certainly stings, he said with a young team, something like this was to be expected. And we lost, and we feel bad about it. And no one's happy in our camp about losing on our home court. That's to anybody. People say Northern Arizona, we don't want to lose here to anybody. So whether it was the nearly month long travel or the runners simply overlooking the Lumberjacks, it was just one game in December. So move on and grow in the next game. Well, the runners look to have done that in Fresno for a half. They controlled the tempo of the game, just like at UCLA. It was just a two point deficit at the break. But just like at UCLA, the second half, a different story. The Bulldogs pulled away for a 15 point win and gave the runners their fourth consecutive loss. The first 20 minutes was our way. Uh, second half, uh, 20 minutes with their way, and because the second half is the one that determined the win, that's how they won the game. So Tuesday night, the runners returned home with a four and six record, and the idea maybe that this year's team was simply too young to close out games. But again, Barnes preaching patience, saying that Brent Rapp's injury in the offseason has delayed their on-court chemistry, and that his guards still learning to play together. The familiarity of where he is, how he comes over, what he's looking for. All that plays to me in a fact of being a good team because we got the right kind of heart. We got the right kind of mentality. Uh, we just don't have enough experience right now to, to, to get over the hump in some of the games that we've played. So we could look back on this season and say Friday morning was the hump. A 100 point showing over Life Pacific coming at the perfect time. Just 24 hours before the runners would face Idaho, a team they needed a last second three to beat in the Alaskan shootout. Last night, the team played perhaps their most complete game of the season. A 66 55 win over the Vandals built on defense with the team forcing 27 turnovers and then the shooters at confidence from Friday seemed to carry over into the next night. Damian Durham, the runner's streaky shooter, putting up 19 points on five three-pointers, and freshman Jarkel Joyner adding 13 points. But perhaps the most impressive stat is that he didn't turn the ball over once. And then Ricky Holden, Brent Rapp, the other two guards, Barnes said, are learning to play together. They finished with a combined 18 points. So the runners now six and six on the year with conference play opening in a little less than a month. That's middle of the pack in terms of the other team's records in conference. But earlier this week, Coach Barnes saying their schedule has been much more difficult. Four years ago, everybody would have played us. We had all kind of people calling us. So we are reaping <laughs> what the last two teams have sown. And that's where we got to go on the road and play people. We playing not the bottom of the conference of people. We playing people that are at the top of their conference, but that's where we want to be. So certainly not the complete game last night. Motaz Ali and Falo and Doy, they combined to score just four points, but we've seen in the previous games against Arizona and UCLA that they can score in the post against some of these better teams. So we'll see. I mean, all the pieces seem to be there for the runners, and last night certainly a step in the right direction. Definitely. All right, we'll keep an eye on things.